Hi everyone, welcome back to Heavy Rescue. It's an early spring morning here in Elk Mountain, Wyoming, and today guys, we're working with a tow truck company. And as I was eating my breakfast, I got our first call here. Looks like there's a broken down truck here just on the outside of town here. Why don't we hop in our truck, get over to the shop, grab a tow truck, and go help out this customer. Like always guys, there's a full mods list linked down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. Guys, I am super excited to be back here with the Heavy Rescue series. It's been quite some time since I've done a video here, so I thought, hey, since I'm working today, why don't I bring the camera along here and have some fun running some tow trucks, since there's always a call or two that we do head on over to here. But the local sheriff called, he's helping out traffic control, uh, just because this truck is uh, broken down on the side of the road. And uh, it's going to be a bit uh, busy this morning with everyone going to work here. So they really want the truck uh, kind of uh, taken off the side of the road and dropped off at a mechanic shop here. So we are getting over to the shop right and early. We do have a pretty big fleet of tow trucks here. You guys can see we have a small F550 wrecker, a few rollbacks, and look at this, guys. We have a few big rotators. Mainly these are for the big winch outs and uh, some highway cleanup of some big wrecks here. But look at this, guys. This is an older Oshkosh heavy wrecker. I mean, this thing is sweet. But hey, we should probably get going here. Why don't we take the F550? We'll get all those strobe lights going. That's one of the cool things about all these tow trucks is all the uh, beacon lights, all the different yellow strobe lights on them here. But uh, let me put the address in. Like I mentioned, it's uh, towards the outside of town. Luckily, though, uh, we're located in the center, so about 5-10 minutes to get there. So the detail about today's call, guys, is that it is a broken axle. Something with that here. That's why we're bringing the rollback, not a regular uh, wrecker. But wow, look at that, guys. That truck definitely is overloaded. I mean, that looks like several thousand pounds worth in the back. And wow, look at the axle. That definitely snapped here. So why don't we get pulled off this side of the road? Let me talk to the uh, sheriff really quick, and then we'll get to work. All right, I will get to work here. Probably five minutes and then we'll get off on the side of the road. All right, guys, we're going to get to winching here. So this is going to be quite a bit of winching power. This is about 2,500 pounds, way over what this truck should be hauling here, especially an older truck like this here. It looks like it's sitting on the frame. So I'm going to uh, see if we get the roll back out. And we'll, uh, we'll just uh, put a winch here on the hitch. That That's going to be the strongest part on the back here. I don't want to put it to a bumper. We'll take the bumper right off. And I definitely want to make sure we don't do any more damage. Damage. Guys, that was spot on there. I wanted to go right there uh, to the uh, bumper here. But let's see if we could grab the winch and we'll just slowly walk back here. Luckily, I got a remote control here, which is really helpful. And we'll get it attached. All right, we got the winch line attached here. I'm just going to put a little bit of tension on it. Oh, yeah, boys. We're going to be moving this here. So I'm just going to slowly winch it up here. Really want to be careful because it's going to be damaging the fender here. And once again, we really want to limit the damage. Guys, we got it all loaded up here. I could definitely feel the weight on this truck here. Probably should have brought the bigger roll back here, but the F550 should be able to handle it here. The owner's actually going to ride with me on over to the local mechanic shop, and that's where we're going to get it dropped off here. He said he was actually going to work on a little bit of concrete work today. That's why he had a big pallet of concrete, but 
he probably should have taken two trips here. Maybe we wouldn't be helping him if uh, he didn't uh, take uh, too much uh, for an older truck like this. But no problem. I'm always looking to help, especially a, a broken down on the side of the road here. So we are coming up on the mechanic. It is this one here, the automotive center. So let's get this dropped off quick. And then it uh, looks like we have another call coming in. All right, guys, we're all set here. Looks like they're uh, not yet here at work, so we, we're gonna leave it right outside. That way they could easily roll it right in the shop here. But let's get on back to the uh, headquarters here. We have another call coming in for two machines at a job site stuck in mud, which is not surprising here. Usually in the spring, guys, we get a lot of rain here in town and especially dirt and in different areas definitely flood out here. So stuck in mud, this is gonna be a fun challenge for us. If you guys want to see more heavy rescue videos, let me know down below here. These are a lot of fun here, kind of unique and a bit different than what we usually do here. But let me know down below and we could always uh, uh, try to work a few extra days here a week because these are a lot of fun. But I am thinking here, looks like it's over 100 feet off the roadway. So I would take the small F550, but that winch line is about 25 feet. We're going to have to take the big truck here, HR250, the twin steer Western Star Rotator. Guys, this is probably one of the coolest trucks, uh, coolest tow trucks we have here in Farmston with the American flag on the side. I mean, this thing, guys is sweet here but we only uh, only bring this out when the jobs really need it because this thing is super expensive to run the two machines stuck in mud guys look to be a skid steer in a delivery forklift so this is definitely going to be interesting uh, to see what it ends up uh, looking like here and we're already arriving at the job site whoa those are definitely off uh, the roadway here there's a delivery truck looks like another worker here so why don't we just take a quick walk around on what this is oh boy guys look at this mud i have to be careful i'm gonna lose my boots in this mud yeah, oh yeah i'm sinking sinking let me walk over here and whoa wow look at that guys the uh, skid steer uh must have tried to get itself uh, unstuck and it sank about a foot there that is not good and the forklift is also stuck in mud here the drive uh, uh, wheel is definitely stuck. Oh boy, this is gonna be a winch out here. So why don't we get going with the uh, skid steer? That way, uh, we could uh, get to the forklift a little bit easier. And I'm thinking I'm gonna bring these right over here to the roadway on the grass. There's not much mud here, and the, this whole area is covered in mud. All right, let's take a winch line with us. And once again, we are going to try to get out this skid steer here. I'm going to try to get it from the front here. I definitely don't want to be uh, taking it from the wrong area here. Let's see if we could put a winch line on it. Perfect. All right, guys, let's see what's going to happen here. Put a little bit of tension on it. Looks like we're getting the skid steer out. Oh, this is coming out. No problem. I'm just trying to be very careful here. That way we don't end up damaging the wheels uh, that are connected to the drive motors. That would not be good doing any more damage. Luckily, this skid steer is on the smaller side here. It's the New Holland L190. Uh, that's actually a skid steer I haven't seen too much here in Farm Sim. And we'll put the winch here in high spool, just bring it uh, right out of the mud. You guys can see we're causing big, big tire tracks here. That air is just so, uh, so much mud. We'll go a little bit further. Right about there looks to be good here. We'll release the winch and let's uh, get the winch on to the other uh, machine. Looking at this forklift, I'm trying to find the proper place here. I definitely don't want to uh, attach it to the fork or that hydraulic area. That would do some damage here. So I'm thinking, oh, look at that. There's actually a tow hook here. Why don't we get it attached here? Perfect. And I really want to uh, see if we could get this thing winched out here. So we have tension on it. Oh, yeah. It looks like you guys can see the mud is really trying to not uh, give up on getting it out here. But we are just slowly going to roll this thing out to the road. Mm -hmm. 
the delivery man guys is sure happy that we are getting this out here. I don't think his day was going too well when he ended up getting this stuck here. But hey, he'll be back to making some deliveries here within the next 5 to 10 minutes. Just uh, needs to get a, a garden hose and really wash this thing. This thing is covered in mud. Looks like he was spitting his tires and mud was going all over the machine here. But you guys can see, look at the rotator. I mean, the power that this thing has is awesome here. These are probably... Five, six thousand pound machines, no problem uh, moving these and getting them unstuck from the mud. Hopefully we don't get any more calls for mud because, like I mentioned guys, if we keep getting more rain like this, this is going to be a quite common thing we're going to be doing here, but we'll keep going here to the roadside, that way uh, there won't be too much uh, more that could get stuck here, but you guys can see pretty cool setup for today getting to use that but guys i'm gonna get the truck uh back uh road ready with the stabilizers and everything folded in but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video until the next one thanks for watching stay tuned and subscribe for more